Greetings from Willie T's. Want to learn how to make snapbacks using the Cricut Hat Press? Then check this out. I purchased the Cricut Cap Press because I wanted to be able to sell hats for my clothing brand, but I didn't want to pay the price for a standard hat press that can cost upwards to $1,200. Uh, the Cricut Cap Press is coming in at like 150 bucks, so definitely affordable. All right, let's show you what comes in the box. Uh, right here is your hat form. You're going to use it to hold the hat while you press it. Next up is the heat-resistant tape. Uh, this tape is actually pretty good. Uh, next up. You have the Cricut Hat Press. Uh, it comes with the base. And also with the Cricut Hat Press, they have an app for setup. Okay, that's the Cricut Hat Press and what comes with it. Let's get started. First step, you want to use your heat resistant tape to tape off the design to the hat. This is basically how the hat would look after taped. You just want to make sure that it is flush to the surface. For this next step, we're going to use the hat form. So first of all, you want to take those snaps -a loose uh, on the back of the hat. Then you want to grab that hat form and place it under the hat. Nice and snug. Next, you want to crank up that hat press. Now, the hat press has three different settings. Low, medium, and fire. Now, me, myself, personally, I like to use the medium setting because it basically works a little bit better. Next, you want to add some craft paper to protect the design and protect the hat from being scorched. This is part of the reason why I choose the medium setting because it's not as hot. Now it's time for pressing. At this point, your cap press should be at the desired heat level. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back and forth across the print for about 30 seconds. Now, after the transfer has cooled for about 10 seconds, you can start taking that heat resistant tape off of it. And as you can see, I'm having a bit of a problem, but that's because the heat resistant uh, tape is very good. Now, you're gonna wanna hit this again with some craft paper to bring out those colors. After your final press using craft paper, now you have a custom snapback using the Cricut Hat Press. And if you would like to purchase one of these, the link is below. Please like, follow, or subscribe if you appreciate our daily content. This is Willie Tees, and we'll see you in the next one.